I'm going to fight my fears. We all have fears. Fear of unknown, fear of known, fear of losing people. So I wrote down one by one all those fears. And I decided that I'm going to overcome these fears one at a time. Do you know what was my biggest fear? Divorce. But the day I decided that this is nothing but my fear, I liberated myself by setting him free. And I made myself emotionally so strong that the day I got the news that he's getting married, I sent him a text that I'm so happy for you and I wish you all the best. And he knows that I pray for him today. Number two was, I won't be able to be a mother again. And that was quite devastating for me. But then I realized there are so many children in the world, all they want is acceptance. So there is no point of crying, just go and adopt one. And that's what I did. You'll be surprised to know another bigger fear that I had in me. It was facing people. I used to hide myself. When I was on bed for two years, I used to keep the door closed. I used to pretend that I'm not going to meet anyone, tell them that I'm sleeping. You know why? Because I couldn't stand that sympathy that they had for me. They used to treat me like a patient. When I used to smile, they used to look at me and say that, you're smiling, are you okay? I was tired of this question being asked, are you sick? And I said, well, um, besides the spinal cord injury, I'm fine, I guess. And today I'm here speaking to all these amazing people because I have overcome the fear. You know when you end up being on the wheelchair, what's the most painful thing? The lack of acceptance. People think that they will not be accepted by the people because we, in the world of perfect people, are imperfect. So I decided that instead of starting an NGO for disability awareness, which I know will not help anyone, I started to appear more in public. I decided that I'm going to join the national TV of Pakistan as an anchor person. I became the national goodwill ambassador for you and women Pakistan. I was featured in BBC 100 Women for 2015. I'm one of the Forbes 30 under 30 for 2016. So when you accept yourself the way you are, the world recognizes you. It all starts from within.